Hello. Today's snare battle, this episode, takes the joyful noise, TKO, sometimes called the tailpipe snare, versus the Ludwig Black Beauty. This is a, both are 6.5 drums. This is the brass on brass edition. It does have die cast hoops. Uh, other than that, it's just our regular Black Beauty. Uh, both of these drums are fairly new. Uh, both have Evans Genera dry heads on top. Uh, have Evans snare heads on the resonant side. Using my drum dial, I have tuned both of these drums uh, to 90 PSI on top, exactly, and 80 PSI on the bottom. Both have the factory snares. The Joyful Noise is about a $1,400 drum. Uh, street prices, the Brass on Brass Black Beauty, about a $950 drum. Uh, almost $500 in difference. And I see a lot of online discussion going on uh, in the drummer forums and social media uh, that where they say that a lot of guys say that the TKO or the, the Joyful Noise snare is an upgrade over the Black Beauty. And so I wanted to sit them down side by side. Um, I actually use these two drums for two completely different purposes, but I thought it would be interesting to see them go head to head, let you uh, listen. Uh, we also notice I have a new microphone system for this episode, and I think we'll be using this from here on out. Uh, these are Shure SM57 mics. My bass drum is also mic. There's also an overhead mic above me. These are going into a mixer. There are no effects applied to these drums, either one of them. Uh, what you're hearing is the, the drum, uh, each tune the same with the same heads and all of that. So you get a real honest uh, uh, earful, if you will, of these snares. So I'm going to play them for a few minutes and then I'll be back to let you know what I hear in person, what I think, and how I use these drums. I don't know how well it came across in the video, but the TKO is a much heavier drum. Um, it is probably, I would guess, four to five pounds heavier than the Black Beauty, uh, even with the die cast hoops on top. And normally a thicker shell, they're both brass drums, uh, and normally a thicker shell means a higher note. Uh, for some reason, that doesn't that little formula doesn't come true uh, with the TKO. These drums both sound about the same to my ear as far as their pitch goes. 
Um, the, both of these drums are ringers. Uh, in person, they both have the infamous, if you will, Black Beauty ring or, the, or that bell sound that comes out. And this drum's no exception. Um, I really like both of them, but they feel different when you play them. And so in my mind, the, the uh, Black Beauty is a rock and roll uh, live drum uh, with a lot of amplification. And with its tone and its ring, um, it will cut. I think it will fit in with most, most mixes uh, quite well. Uh, the TKO is more of a studio drum for rock and roll and it would have to be muffled uh, quite a bit in order to uh, satisfy the engineers in the booth but really uh, that's where this drum I think would shine the most. Um, anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video and I uh, plan on doing several more of these. I appreciate all the views and positive comments and subscribers and all those things so again thank you very much.